Look what I've got to show you. We saw it at the supermarket. It's Brunnings, B R U W N I N G S. Brunnings fruit and citrus food from Brunnings.com AU. Supposed to be good for your plants, right? And they've got pictures there of healthy plants like lime and passion fruit and what is it, mandarin and lemons and bananas and things. Supposedly health giving. Essential nutrients for your plants. But the shocking thing is, it's not organic either, but I don't think it's organic. I think it's all chemicals and stuff, but the fact is, it's very, very strange. Yes, what does it say? Let's have a look. Okay. This product contains cadmium, mercury and lead. Continued use of this product in agricultural situations may lead to resi residue levels in plant and animal products in excess of the maximum level specified by the Australian New Zealand Food Standards Code and the accumulation of cadmium, mercury and lead in soils. Really? So, in other words, if you use this product in agricultural situations, like your own backyard garden, for example, it, it, it may lead to re lead residue levels in plant and animal products in excess of the maximum level specified. And, well, there's more here. Analysis. The maximum concentration of cadmium is 15 milligrams per kilogram, and maximum concentration of lead, 20 milligrams per kilogram. Maximum concentration of mercury, 5 milligrams per kilogram. And they've got different rules there for Western Australia. All states here, excluding Western Australia. So Western Australia only allows about half the amount. If you can figure all that out. The fact is, this is supposed to be citrus food. Or this is supposed to be... This is supposed to be something that's safe to use in your garden. It's supposed to be safe. It's supposed to be safe. It's supposed to be safe, but it isn't safe. It contains cadmium, lead and mercury, and if you keep using it in your garden, you'll get lead, lead contamination, cadmium contamination, and mercury contamination in your garden. It's dangerous, it's stupid, and it shouldn't be allowed in, at least, it shouldn't be allowed in the home garden. And I don't know that it should be allowed in agricultural situations, but it most certainly shouldn't be allowed in the home garden. Just a bit of interest, for your interest. This is what they're doing. They're selling fertilizers for the home garden that will contaminate your garden with lead, mercury and cadmium. It's pathetic. Let's clarify here a little bit. They obviously have a Western Australian version and, uh, and, and uh, another state's version. So, there's uh, about half the amount of cadmium in the Western Australian version as in all the other states. And there's no lead or mercury in the Western Australian version here no lead or mercury, only cadmium, and it's at half the amount. But in all the other states, we've got double amount of the cadmium that's allowed in WA, and we've got lead and mercury in the uh, other states version. So why that is, I don't know. Perhaps Western Australia has stricter laws, or else they've already got more contamination in the soil. Add this product contains cadmium, mercury, which is excluded in WA, and lead, which is excluded in WA. So the, uh, the rules are much tighter in Western Australia than for the rest of the other states. And the other states were expected to contaminate our gardens with lead, cadmium and mercury.